What's up, everybody? Sensei here. Here's the story in a nutshell. I went on an amazing 28-mile ride the other day. I had taken some great video footage. I got home. I downloaded that footage from my camera into a folder, placed it on my computer desktop. Uh, so later that day, I can make a video. And when I came back to make the video, I looked into the folder. There was no footage. I don't know what happened to it. All the video footage was missing. I was like, okay, looking around, dumbf <laughs> dumbfounded. It was my stupid fault, too, because I did not check the folder after downloading everything. And I erased everything off my phone. So I lost it. So um, I am so sorry. I really wanted to share that video footage with y'all. So you can see my progress. But um, things happen. What are you going to do? You just move forward. So what I did, I went on a 14-mile ride today. Just so I could have some new video footage to share with y'all. So I hope that you like it. And uh, let's get this video underway. And I hope you enjoy it. Because think about this, man. I learned this years ago. I was working this job at a supermarket and his brother would always come in and uh, he would talk about motorcycles. He used to ride one of these big touring bikes, man. That's when I fell in love with motorcycles. And he would come in every Saturday, man. I love that bike, man. It was just a wicked bike. And he told me, he's like, look, man, there's two types of riders. Riders that have gone down and riders that will go down. Alright, we're off. I definitely got a little bit too much air in the tire, but you know what? It's going to settle down as I ride. And hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad. But as you can see, I'm flying along. Feeling really good on this thing, baby. Now, slow it down here. Here's a tip. If you're riding, be careful of wet leaves. Wet leaves, I'm telling you, is probably worse than snow. It, you will go down. You will go down. Wet leaves are very slippery, so you definitely have to be careful. Overall, feeling pretty, pretty good here. Pick it up. Don't know if you caught that when I started. I overpowered the wheel and I almost went down. Put way too much torque on it. Yeah, I tell you what, if that would have happened, let's say three weeks ago, I would have face planted right over there. 
But like I said, I, I feel pretty, pretty good and I'm confident in my control over the Tesla now. But if that was weeks back, I would have been off the path laying in the bushes because I over torqued the wheel a little bit. It's phenomenal today I'm telling you excuse me from squinting to the camera because the Sun is coming right down in my eyes but the Sun feels really really good I'll take this helmet off I'm feeling really comfortable I keep saying that but um, as I mentioned earlier I over torqued the wheel with touch and almost lost it back there I believe I got it on camera I'll put it in there but if that would have been like three weeks ago, I probably would have face planted and, and wrecked the EUC, seriously. But my confidence level is probably at its all time high riding this uh, Tesla. And that's one thing that I want to mention to new riders. Make sure you are 100% ready to go out and ride with other people. You know what I mean? Uh, I know that you want to prove yourself to the experienced riders and you want to ride with them. And if your skill level isn't with them, you can find yourself in a heap of trouble very, very quickly. You know, so make sure you feel comfortable out on the road. Because I think that was my biggest fear. Not so much for myself, but I didn't want to injure another person or another rider. Because think about this, man. I learned this years ago. I was working this job at a supermarket, and his brother would always come in and... Uh, he would talk about motorcycles. He used to ride one of these big touring bikes, man. That's when I fell in love with motorcycles. And he would come in every Saturday, man. I love that bike, man. It was just a wicked bike. And he told me, he's like, look, man, there's two types of riders. Riders that have gone down and riders that will go down. And that's the same thing with an EUC. Two types of riders. Riders that have gone down and riders that will go down. And that's the thing that always you know, was in my mind is that I never want to go down and injure an innocent person, injure another rider, or injure myself. So that's something you have to make sure that your skill level is up to par. You get up to these high speeds and your wheel starts wobbling or you hit a pothole and you don't know how to bring that wheel under control, you're coming off that thing and, you know, you don't know, know what can happen. You know, So you got to be very, very careful in that sense, making sure that you feel comfortable uh, I know that um, I wanted to make sure that I was ready to ride in New York. Anyone that's ever ridden New York uh, has actually, excuse me, rode a bike or rollerbladed or any of those things or a scooter, a, a, a skateboard in New York City knows New York is a completely different animal. That is no joke because you got things coming from so many directions. Your head has to be on a swivel. So you want to make sure that you're ready. Uh, to go on those big group rides and another thing too when you're riding with people you have to learn the mannerisms of the group you know you could really mess somebody up if you're not used to riding in a group so just take your time again and make sure that you're ready but overall man I'm feeling great I'm feeling great I'm probably gonna put in at least 20 miles today and then I'm gonna actually go buy a new helmet because this helmet right here is my snowboarding helmet. And I want to get a full-faced helmet. I do have a motorcycle helmet, but the thing is too hot. It's too hot. So, let's keep on riding. 